Good morning, y'all. Um, there's a reason why I titled this message the way I titled it. Of course, it was prayer, um, a lot of prayer. But I realized this about six months ago, maybe even a year ago, honestly, maybe even a long time ago, but raw. The real ingredients. Jesus, God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. We're on the potter's wheel, guys. And he wants to make us in his image. But if we're not raw, not the real deal, there's a reason why. Because he wants us to be righteous, but righteous and willing. We have to be willing to go through the fire. Some revelations about many waters, um, wants us to be his voice, guys, in this world, that light, that salt. But he can't do it. He can't make us those vessels of honor. If we've got our own agenda, we're not willing. We want to create our own image. We want to do our own thing. <clears throat> not willing. A couple different posts, but one of them was, you know, you, you didn't, you're not hearing God because you, you already know you already got your answer. You want no, you you only know what you want to say. You just kind of want a rubber stamp of approval on some of our mess. <laughs> Guys, we have to be raw. When you bake in a cake or something, if you put in the real ingredients and everything's just fresh, raw, tastes good. But when it's got artificial sweeteners and just all this other stuff. Sometimes it tastes kind of funky, guys. Some of it, not not all of it, but a lot of it tastes to aftertaste and just different things. It's not real, not raw, not the raw material. The refiner's fire to make that gold, clean out the dross, raw. Why? Because he wants us righteous. It's also in Revelations, you know, he wants to put on a robe of righteousness on us. Guys, it's like, you know, everybody busted their her job. Sarah Huck, whatever her name was, Sarah Sanders. Now this other lady, you know, the spokesman for the president. I'm not politicizing any of this guy. I'm not criticizing, politicizing anybody on this one. But they speak what the presidents don't want to say sometimes. They get a lot of flack, right or wrong. Let's just set that aside. He wants us to be his voice, his spokesman, his word living in us. That's why I said, out of your bellies will flow rivers of living water. Well, what is the living water? It's going to be his word, guys. It's going to be birthed in prayer, guys. It's going to be Joel's army, guys. There's so much here, but he wants us raw. Sometimes we get rubbed raw. Sometimes the pruning gets us raw. Sometimes the fires get us raw. But it's all unto something, guys. We have to be willing so we can become righteous. Willing and obedient will eat the good of the land. The willing part is what most of us don't want to do. We say we do. Willing to die out, man. That process, that whole dying out piece, is never easy, guys. There's some stuff just recently that's coming to light in me that's like, man, God, I thought this was dealt with a long time ago. Some of it I didn't even know was there. It hurts a little bit, but I gotta be raw. Got presented before the Lord. The cross, the real deal, guys. Nobody wants to be lied to or fake. They don't want, you know? Do you want a faux mink coat or whatever? Or you don't know. No, you want the real thing. People don't wear mink coats anymore, but. Raw, because he wants to make us those vessels for his honor and his glory. Wants to make us righteous, a righteous people. 
Not our agenda, not our what we want, not how we think God thinks. None of that, guys. It's, it's just got to be really, really, really a little brutal here, but we've just got to come to him raw and undone and let him do the work, be the author and finisher of our faith, not us. That's the willing part, and it's hard. It's, that sounds easy. It's a canned answer, kind of. Honestly, guys, there's a lot of canned answers out there. Raw, so we can be righteous and willing. Eat the good of the land. Right now, man, I was at one of the major retail grocery stores. Cops were there in the parking lot, right in the middle, kind of at the front of the door, blocking it. And these ladies were just, man, they were cussing up a storm, yelling at him, screaming crazy. Because somebody said something wrong. One of the employees said something wrong to them. I'm like, man, what did this cop, poor cop have to do with it? You're cussing him out. Like, you should go in there and arrest him because he said something you didn't like. Sometimes God says stuff we don't like. And we're not willing to accept it. We're not raw yet. We want to come to him. Oh, yeah, we want to come to the cross. We want to bring our stuff and our junk and our things and our thoughts and our minds and how we think what God should do. Then we have our prayer list, our wants, or, you know, not our needs, but our wants, what we want. Man, it's just raw. Kind of came into this world raw, guys, naked and undone. And that's what he wants. Just bare necessities, raw. He can work with the raw. You can't work with the broken pieces and we want to keep stuff and hide stuff or whatever. Maybe not even hide, but sometimes we don't even know it. Honestly, guys, sometimes we do. Now, there's a pastor that I used to sit under and he said that, are, that an excuse with a reason wrapped up in a lie. We want to make excuses. Everybody, let's pick, let's take David, for example. Why was he a man after God's own heart? The guy was kind of a scoundrel, guys. Nobody wants to hear that. They all want King David, slayed the giants, and man, cut Goliath's head off. And what an awesome guy he was. Guys, he murdered somebody to get their wife. Kind of scoundrel at best, guys, honestly. I mean, he was a piece of work. Who wants to say that or hear that? They all, you know. Man, guys, we got a ways to go. Everybody's mad about all this, what happened with COVID and all this stuff. It was to kind of get us raw, get our attention, guys. Get us back to the cross. Pure, clean. He can't make us pure and clean if we're not raw. The real deal, the pure ingredients. Like I said, you know, you, well, you want to make up, when you make something from scratch, you know, it's people that are just love to cook and they're pretty good cooks too. It's always good, tasty. That's why it says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. He wants the real deal, guys. Not the surreal things that we've made up to look good for our image. Pomp and circumstance. That's why I say some of the stuff I say about the church world because it's become this sensational Shazam moment. Call it Captain Crunch Christianity, whatever you want to call it. Most of it's not real. Sorry. So I'm in with this. This is not Monopoly. I don't get a free pass. I don't get to pass go and collect 200 bucks. I gotta do the same as everybody else. Message is for me too, guys. Raw. You raw. I will end with this. Okay, I'm not 
really good landscaper guy. Just not, never really fancy. You know, I'd cut the grass and, you know, edging the basics, but, you know, I never really put my heart into it because I just, it just did, not like some people, I just, did, I just didn't want to do it. I just didn't enjoy it, you know. It wasn't it was just, you know, it's a chore, something that had to get done, and I tried to do it right to the best of my ability, but, you know, I never, you know, I'd fertilize my yard, stuff like that, too, of course, trying to take care of things, but my head just always kind of looked kind of a little rough. Then we hired our neighbor, who was a landscaper. Took him about six months, one season, honestly, but I watched him one day. He cut, cut our yard, he was too cheap. I, I actually paid him a little bit more because he was always doing stuff. Came through, cut our yard, you know, done. Gets out a DeWalt cordless edge. And he was done with the edges in about five minutes. So then, so then he, uh, done. The pruning guys, now they look really good. But it takes the pruning, so are you raw? Love you guys, talk to you soon.